Hi everybody, my name is Jesse Rogerson. I'm an astronomer here at the Ontario Science Centre. We're standing right here in front of the space exhibit because something very interesting in space is about to happen. Coming up on June 5th of this year is something called the Transit of Venus, a very rare astronomical event. And what this means is that the planet Venus will be passing from our point of view here on Earth in between us and the Sun. So we will actually see a little black dot that makes a, that is the planet Venus pass in front of the Sun. It's kind of like like a solar eclipse when the moon passes in front of the sun but in this case Venus looks appears to be a lot smaller so you get this little black dot passing in front of the sun so the first transit of Venus that humans observed happened back in 1639 now since then there's been only five other transits of Venus now the question is why is this so rare to help me explain this I have a scale model of the solar system here here on the outside the blue hula hoop is Earth's orbit the orange hula hoop is Venus's orbit and we have the sun glowing brightly here in the center. Now a transit happens whenever the three objects line up, Earth, Venus and the sun. And you may think by looking at this with uh, all three, with both the hula hoops and the sun here, you may think looking at this that that might happen often, but unfortunately Venus's orbit is actually tilted something like this. Now as a result, they only line up once in a while. And if you don't see this one, the next one's going to be in 2117. It's a very rare astronomical event. But now you may be asking, I want to go out and see this, but how can I see it? The only way to see a transit is by looking at the sun. And of course, this is very dangerous. You never, ever look directly at the sun. It can do very permanent damage to your eyes. You don't want to do that. So you want to do it safely. You want to observe the sun safely. There's a few things you can do. So one thing you can do is get yourself a pinhole camera. And you can make this at home. It's very easy. You, have, you use a piece of cardboard like this and you make a little hole in it right there. And then you have a blank one for behind it. And all you do is you put the one with the hole in front of the sun and then you let the, the sunlight shine through the hole onto the one at the back. And you get an image of the sun on this piece. And it allows you to see that little black dot that is tra the transit of Venus. Another thing you can do is get yourself a pair of really nice solar observing glasses. These things block out most of the light coming from the sun, allowing you to see right now it's just purely black, but when you look at the sun you can see the disk of the sun and see that little black dot that makes up Venus. But of course the best way to observe the transit of Venus is to come here to the Ontario Science Centre because on June 5th we are holding a Transit of Venus observing party. You come here starting at 6.04 p.m. is when the transit starts. Come here, we have activities, we have safe viewing, we have uh, all the equipment you need, plus the Royal Astronomical Society here to help us observe this Transit of Venus safely. It's a twice in a lifetime opportunity and it's never gonna happen again. Make sure you come out.